P. Ryan gets the carry. Big break. 20. P. Ryan, 5. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Big 12 football season is back. And with that, here is a look at your 2015 preseason poll order of finish, as voted on by various members of the media. At number 10, Kansas will rely on its youth as they return just five starters for the 2015 season. The Jayhawks go into their first season under head coach David Betty, who will have to replace the team's top three receivers, 10 of 13 tacklers, and a good chunk of his offensive line. After a disappointing 2014 season, Iowa State will look to get back in the win column under head coach Paul Rhodes. The Cyclones return just 11 starters, including redshirt senior Sam Richardson under center. ISC will look to stay healthy and rely on its young defense and lengthy wide receiver group. Texas Tech comes in at number 8 and enters its third season under head coach Cliff Kingsbury. The Red Raiders return 13 starters including quarterback Pat Mahomes on the offensive side. Tech will look to make a big jump in the standings this season but will need to improve in the penalty category after averaging 89 penalty yards per game last season. Checking in at number seven, Kansas State returns four seniors on the offensive line and six on the defensive side. While this year's team shows some youth, the Wildcats have major home games against TCU, Oklahoma, and Baylor. Losing Tyler Lockett and Curry Saxton, head coach Bill Snyder will have big shoes to fill on the offensive side of the football. After a season full of highs and lows, West Virginia is counting on an experienced defensive unit to propel them here this season. The Mountaineers return eight starters from a group that held Baylor to 27 points and TCU to 31 last season. Offensively, the team returns a stable running back group but needs to replace a few key offensive weapons. Second year head coach Charlie Strong put together an impressive late season run in 2014 and will look to ride that momentum into this season. The Longhorns return quarterback Tyrone Swoops and several members of the offensive line. Texas opens their season with a trip to Notre Dame. Oklahoma State comes in at number four after finishing last season with a 7-6 record and a victory in the Cactus Bowl. Head coach Mike Gundy and his staff will look to improve defensively, which has eight returning starters. Offensively, the Cowboys return 12 players with starting experience, including sophomore quarterback Mason Rudolph. At number three, the Oklahoma Sooners are coming off an 8-5 season and have had a few changes over the offseason. Head coach Bob Stoops welcomed in Lincoln Riley to serve as the play caller on the offensive side of the football. The Sooners are led offensively by running back Samaj Pirine and quarterback Trevor Knight. After an impressive 2014 campaign, the Baylor Bears arrive at number two. The Bears returned 17 starters this season, nine of those on their defensive side, but they will need to replace a key offensive weapon in quarterback Bryce Petty. Head coach Art Bryles will turn to junior quarterback Seth Russell to replace him. Following a dominating win in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl to cap off a 12-1 season, the TCU Horn Frogs will look to build off of last season's success. The Frogs return 10 offensive starters, including their top four pass catchers and four offensive line starters. TCU is led offensively by early Heisman favorite Trevon Boykin under center. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Mitch Gerber.